Liberty from It's a Pretty World. Today I'm using the Ulta News Summer Swirl Stamp Set to make a clean and simple boutique style card. What I mean to say is uh, cards that you usually find in stores which are very clean and simple. So I'm starting off with a very Copic friendly black ink. I think I'm using the Ma My Favorite Think Things black hybrid black ink which is um, which is compatible with Copic markers as well as other uh, mediums that you can use and uh, what I did was I started to stamp without a soft pad underneath and the images was not coming that crisp, crisp. so I added a pad underneath it um, underneath the black paper and started stamping multiple times this cone image from the stamp set I didn't want to cover the entire background but only the top half of the cardstock. And then I started taking copy colors. The colors I used are um, very muted tones and then I started to color off with a lighter shade. In this case it was the R00 and the R20 would be the darker one. And then I, I laid the base color which is a lighter one and I left a white halo around the image. You don't want to cover it completely and I want to keep these colors very muted very very subtle almost look like a digitalized watercolor effect and then I added the darker shade just to the edges and then when you're adding the darker shade you don't want to blend it completely you want to give a little bit of a variation as if it's it's the the scoop you've just scooped it and there is this um, variation in that scoop so that's what I'm trying to do here with my three colors so now when I've done uh, this is just one that I wanted to show what I did and then I went ahead and I started coloring all of them the same way so first I colored all the red or the pink in, ca in this case it was R00 and the top color was R20 and once I was done laying all the base um, then I went with the darker shade now also the other thing will help doing them all in one was it let the first image dry out a bit because I wanted that shading not to be completely blended I wanted the shading to be like on top I wanted the layers to be seen it's almost like what you would see in digitalized watercolor images of cards that you would buy in store you wouldn't see a complete blend you would see those those variations you would see the texture you would see um, the two different colors they're not they're not they're not completely blended and disappearing so that's what I'm trying to do here is is lay all the lighter shades and then go with the darker shade so that gives the lighter shade time to completely dry and once it's dry and you go with the darker shade on it it doesn't blend as well as it would have blended if the first layer was still um, wet and then I started to color the cone. Initially I thought I'll just use two different colors but then I thought it needed a little bit more shading so I added a third shade in it uh, which was a YR color. Sorry my screen's not showing the numbers but I've added the numbers in the description below so you can see it and then I started blending it with the other two uh, YR shades. And once I was done with all that it was time to add the sentiment. I used the sentiment uh, from the same stamp set. What I did was I chose two different sentiments which said you and then are the sweetest and then I took my mess day because I wanted to make sure that I am placing my sentiment perfectly in the place I wanted to. You see there's a little bit of a like a gap in between those two cones and the U just fit right in there and I then took I started to stamp it and I realized I didn't want to make a mistake I wanted the sentiment to be really straight again this is a boutique style card and you want it to be as perfect no wonkiness nothing as perfect as possible so I pulled out the Simon Says stamp um, I think it's called the sentiment positioner it's just a piece of acetate with some grid lines on it which helps you to place your sentiment um, pretty straight and then I used this all to new ink which was very close to the ink color of the markers that I used for one of the dollops in the uh, ice cream cone. After I was done with the U I again put that positioner back into place and placed the second sentiment which says 
are the sweetest. So the sentiment would read, you are the sweetest. I write on top of the U, not exactly in the middle, but just at the bottom half of the U. Um, so the sentiment was overlapping the U a bit. And I stamped this with a black ink. And in this case, I used a Versafine Onyx Black marker because I wanted that to be really crisp and dark. Once I was done a tear, uh, not tearing, stamping all the sentiment, it was time to add a little bit of shimmer. I, I've, I've seen a couple of cards when I go up to Target or I go up to stationery shows. I love going to stationery stores, Barnes and Nobles, and I love going to stationery sh shows just to see the beautiful, beautiful stationery that people make, um, obviously digitally, not handmade. And some of them have the slight, slight glitter in their cards and I decided to do that so I added the glitter just on the shaded part of the cones and then it was time to adhere this card to a, a side folding card base and I used 120 pound cardstock I really wanted to, this to be thick and luxurious and um, you know one of those really thick cards luxurious cards that you get at the store and once I adhered this onto that my card was done. I hope you enjoyed.